Good morning, everybody, and happy Tuesday. Welcome to your English lesson today. Just before we start with our work for today, let's just have a recap of the work we completed yesterday. So massive, massive well done to everybody because you have created some super text maps of Mossop and his adventures on Mudpuddle Farm. You've really thought carefully about the story and you have really added lots and lots of detail to those text maps. I'm really, really impressed with you. So today we're going to become authors. We're going to produce our own book by the end of the week. And as all brilliant authors do, we are going to plan a new adventure story today. We need to take our time to plan our stories carefully so that we can make sure we're adding all the detail we need to in our adventure story. So having a look here on the screen, we have got our story mountain and our mountain goes up to the top and then it starts to come back down the other side. So we start with our opening and our opening tells us a little bit about the, the opening of the story. We move to the build up and then we have a dilemma or a problem. There's a problem in the story that the characters have got to solve. Then we start to come down the other side of the mountain where we've got a resolution where we solve the problem and then finally a really good ending that will show our brilliant writing skills when we come to write these stories. Now, if you are on red and orange table, you will have five chapters in your story which follows this story mountain. If you are on yellow, green, purple or blue table, then you will have three chapters in your adventure story. You will have an opening, which will be chapter one. You will have a dilemma or a problem and then you will end your story. So yours will just have three parts. So. Here are my notes about the story. So we've got the different sections of the story here, and then we've got my notes about the story. So at the beginning of the story, we're going to create a description of the farm. We're going to talk about and introduce the characters, including Mossop, Farmer Rafferty, Frederick, and our brand new character, Peter Rabbit. He's gonna come and cause mischief on the farm. Then we're going to describe Peter, because he's brand new to our story. We're going to describe some of the mischief he gets up to and then we've got to say in this part of the story that Mossop really isn't very happy with Peter Rabbit. He's causing so much chaos that he's just not happy. So the problem in our story, there is a disaster. Peter Rabbit causes chaos on the farm. He scratches the tractor seat, he makes such a mess of the barn and he upsets all the other animals and Mossop is incredibly cross with him. So we're going to resolve the issue by Mossop telling Farmer Rafferty what Peter has been doing on the farm. Mossop, very cleverly, is going to lay a trail of carrots to capture Peter. Farmer Rafferty gives Peter a job to keep him busy. And in the ending of the story, um, in the end, Peter Rabbit is well behaved and he's liked by all the other animals on our farm. So that is our five part story. It's slightly reduced if we're doing a three-part story. All the details are exactly the same. We've just got quite a bit more in the beginning, some information in the middle, and then a little bit more at the ending, just to make sure we've got our three sections to our story. So I'm going to share with you now my ideas. So in the lesson, you're going to complete this column here with your ideas. But I'm obviously, I've filled mine in for my ideas about my new story. So let's have a look together. So first of all, I've started my story here and I have used some adjectives. So here, if we look in this box here, I've used some adjectives to describe the farm. So a tumble down barn with a red wooden building, a long dusty dirt track and a bright red rusty tractor. So I'm going to use all of those adjectives to describe the farm. Right, the animals on my farm, I have got Mossop, Farmer Rafferty, Frederick and Peter Rabbit, at least. I might end up in introducing a couple of others. So these are my animals here that I have introduced. Then I need a bit of a description of Mr. Peter Rabbit. So here is my description. So Peter is new and gets into trouble. He eats the vegetables, he turns over the pots, and he splashes in the pond. And that's what's causing Mossop here not to be very happy with Peter. 
So that's the beginning of my story with just some notes here. Just bear in mind, we're not writing the full story today. We're just writing key notes to help us with our story when we come to write it tomorrow. For the middle of our story now, we have got Peter has caused mischief on the farm. He's scratched the seat of the tractor, causing it to rip. He's smashed one of the plant pots, causing the soil to spill. And he makes a mess of the barn by throwing the hay. So all of these things here that I've added in are just notes because tomorrow I can make my story even better. And then finally, in the ending of my story, Mossop plays a really important part because he ends up telling Farmer Rafferty everything. And Farmer Rafferty tells Peter off and then catches him by following a trail of carrots across the farm. Farmer Rafferty gave Peter the job of crop checker. So he, Farmer Rafferty thinks it's really important that uh, Peter has a job on the farm to stop him from getting into mischief. So he's been given the job of crop checker and he has to keep a close eye and a check on all the crops that have been grown on the farm. All the animals like Peter and they then he stayed with them on the farm. So in today's lesson, you are going to create a grid of your ideas. So for the beginning, the middle and the ending of the story, can you come up with your own ideas? Now, this will be your planning grid. So use this to pop ideas. It doesn't need to be full sentences. It doesn't need to be the full story. It doesn't need to be full adjectives. It just needs to be notes that you can use when you come to write your story tomorrow. So have fun with your ideas. Come up with some really good ideas of what Peter could get up to on the farm. You might think of some different ideas that Peter gets up to. Think of our story, Peter Rabbit, that we did in English a couple of terms ago and use some of those ideas to help you with your story. I can't wait to see your plans, to see if you've got any better ideas than I have. So send them through to me so I can have a look. Have fun and good luck, everybody.